Welcome back to my channel, the home of electric car enthusiasts. By 2035, all new cars sold in the European Union will need to be electric, but why wait until then? Today, I'm taking you on a winter road trip from Bydgoszcz to Poznań in a 2017 Hyundai Ioniq Electric with 28 kilowatt hours battery. And trust me, it's not just any road trip. We are putting this baby to the ultimate power consumption test. But before we dive in, please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me tremendously and keeps me motivated to do more videos like this. Unfortunately, when I was just 12 kilometers away from the charging station, my SD card filled up, so I don't have any footage from then. But don't worry, I walk you through what happened. Now before we start, let's set the scene. It's minus 2 degrees Celsius, there is snow on the roads, the car's range is showing 178 kilometers, and I'm about to embark on a 125 journey. And I've got my heating set up to a cozy 21 degrees. Will I make it? Let's find it out. I'm driving at steady 100 km per hour, sun sets and the weather conditions are getting worse. For now the road is black, but let's see for how long. As I drive, I'm keeping a keen eye on my range. At the start I had a nice 53 km buffer. However, as I'm progressing, this buffer is shrinking and my hopes of reaching Poznan without a hitch are also getting slimmer. But hey, what's a road trip without some suspense, right? The numbers are getting tighter as the conditions are getting worse. On the left lane, there is quite a bit of snow and mud and overtaking cars is nearly impossible. We have a bit of situation here. It looks like a delivery truck got twisted due to harsh conditions. Fortunately, it seems like no cars were harmed apart from this truck. Remember folks, winter driving isn't just about range and power consumption, it's also about safety. Even if you are rushed to get to your destination on time or reach a charging station with 5 kilometers of range left, always prioritize your safety. Slow and steady might not always win the race, but it certainly will avoid unnecessary pit stops. Quick pit stop for fuel, not for the car but for me. Pro tip, always fuel yourself before you fuel your car. Back on the road, the further I go, the buffer gets smaller. The truth is that in bad weather conditions, car's estimated range is far from being accurate. Fortunately, after a few kilometers, snow mud is gone from the road and hopefully I will get to Poznań without any problems. Once again, the saying don't prize the day before sunset proves to be true here. After a few kilometers of tolerable conditions, we find ourselves facing a slushy mix of snow and mud on the road again. To make things worse, it has started to snow, not only worsening the road conditions, but also significantly reducing visibility. As I drew near to Poznań, the remaining range of my vehicle begins to dwindle. It seems I will barely make it with just a silver of range to spare. With only 23 km of range left and 18 km to the charging station, I'm cutting it close. When the range dipped to 20 km, with the charger still 12 km away, I made a tough decision to turn off heating. Sometimes you have to sacrifice your comfort to reach your destination. 
It's a stark reminder of the need for strategic energy management when traveling long distances in an electric vehicle. This experience will certainly shape how I plan my trips for the future. Well, after all, I made it. Despite rough weather and road conditions, the Ionic did a great job. I arrived with just 5 kilometers of range left, but this means it used up more energy than usual. For this trip, the Ionic used up 26 kilowatt hours of energy. If we break it down, this means it used about 20.8 kilowatt hours for every 100 kilometers. I want to make it clear that this is a lot higher than what the Ionic usually uses. In winter it's normally about 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, and when it's summer it uses even less energy than that. So this trip was a bit of an outlier and it doesn't really show what the Ionic usually does. Factors like weather, the condition of the roads, and how you drive can all affect how much energy a car uses. Charging up to 94% took approximately 35 minutes, providing just enough time for a quick coffee break, snack and a brief conversation with an electric enthusiast who was just passing by. So there you have it folks. The 2017 Hyundai Ionic Electric managed to brave the winter conditions and get me to my destination. It was a close call but I made it. This car with an estimated price between 17 and 22k euros is an excellent choice for short rides rather than long drives. Its battery capacity is perfectly suited for daily commuting, providing ample range for typical day-to-day -day travel. However, it might pose a challenge for extensive road trips, especially under unfavorable weather conditions, coupled with less than ideal charging infrastructure. Despite these factors, one of the Ionic's standout qualities is its exceptional economy. It maximizes the utility of its compact battery remarkably well. Furthermore, it boasts an impressive rapid charging capacity with a superb charging curve, a feature not typically found in most of electric vehicles. This makes it an overall compiling option for those primarily interested in shorter routine journeys. And if you're thinking of getting a new electric car and have a higher budget, why not consider a Tesla? Use my affiliate link in the description and you will get a reward points which you can exchange for hours including free supercharging and many more. Also, if you have any questions about the Ionic or electric cars in general, just drop them in the comment section below or hit me up on my social media, Instagram, Facebook. I will be more than happy to chat and answer your questions. That's it for today's episode. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends and follow us on social media to stay updated. Stay charged and see you in the next episode.